Hey guys, it's me again, Titan. <laughs> For today's video, I am going to show you how to insert an audio. If let's say you want the background music playing in your course, that is all possible with the use of H5P. So let's get on with it. Once you're in the course, turn editing on as always. Go to the area or section where you want to put that type of activity or resource. And since the audio isn't an activity, it is added as an H5P resource. Click on that. Then let's put its name or a file name. But of course, this could be used in different ways. Let's say if you're teaching um, the younger students, kindergarten to the first grade. So those students who like to listen to music or if you want to, let's say, um, put some nursery rhymes so the students can sing along while they are in your course, go ahead. And also, this is good if you are um, teaching um, history and you are in the area of the music or mape, anything that involves music, this would be good for your course. All right. So after the general options, we have H5P in the grade. Let's just disable it because this isn't going to require you answer anything. So attempt options is also a no. And all the others are as they are. And the tags. Let's go back up and click on general and then in the area of package file click opens a new window and add audio okay let's put a title to it let's say i want a background music in my course I want my course to sound chill. <laughs> so let me input the title as background music. All right, the source files, it could be in the form of URL from YouTube, or if you already have it in your device, let's say in your tablet, your mobile phone, or your laptop computer, you may choose this option and since I've already um, downloaded the music I want to be heard in my course I will choose this one and oh hmm okay background music I want it okay to be this one And while it is uploading, the player mode has three options. As you can see, we got minimalistic, full, and transparent. In minimalistic, you will only see a play and pause or stop button. But in full, you will see um, all the buttons needed for you to play, to skip, fast forward, and all but in transparent if you want the music playing on its own without being able to be stopped or paused or whatever choose transparent and since that's what I want I want this to be somehow a feel of the course a 
chill vibe, if I may say, <laughs> then I will choose transparent and autoplay. And I don't want it to have any controls, so there. Let's save it. See? <laughs> Basically nothing is in here. <laughs> nice. that's what I want to put in my chorus I wanted to have a chill vibe so that's going to be playing once a student or any user is going to enter this type of course or this course all right and now let's go back to the page where we can insert it click on this box Go to Content Bank and choose the one we have just created. Where is that? Background Music. Okay, here it is. Select this file and Save and Display. And then, there you go. There you have it. The student will only be able to play it once he or she click on this H5P activity. All right, and so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and we have done another great one to amplify your chorus. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again on the next. Ciao.